my point is this. If cool Kyle is really Kyle O'Reilly, then whatever you think about it right now, fine, let's go with it. Like, maybe the guy can get it over. Right now, here's my criticism, and it is a big criticism. Right now, this guy comes out, and he's gone from, like, remember when he used to wear the mouthpiece, and he would do that weird walk to the ring, and you're like, what's this guy doing? Why is he walking like this? And he'd get in the ring, and he'd be all weird, and, uh, you know, he never talked, and he just went in there and had great matches. Well, now they want him to be a main eventer, and so now he's got to have a character. And weird guy who walks funny down to the ring, that ain't going to fly in this NXT. So now he's got to have a character, and he's cool Kyle. And he wears a silly hat, and he cuts goofy promos, and he's all wacky. And if you're a viewer that's been watching from day one, you're like, what is he doing? What is this guy doing? Like, what is his character? But... If this is Kyle, if Kyle dresses like this in real life, if this is the way that he talks in his weird sense of humor, then maybe it can get over if they go with it. Now, I was a, I was an indie wrestler the same time that Kyle O'Reilly was an indie wrestler. But I worked for ICW, which was International Championship Wrestling with Tim Flowers, and Kyle was working for ECCW. And Michelle Starr who ran ECCW, and Tim Flowers were mortal enemies, okay? <laughs> and, like, mortal enemies. And there was no way that I could ever do any shows ever for E. So we never crossed paths. Kyle and I never crossed paths. So I don't know if Kyle is really this cool Kyle character. I, don't, I couldn't tell you, okay? But we'll see. The only thing that is a real criticism for me right now is that when he cuts his promos, he seems very uncomfortable. He seems very nervous, and he seems very uncomfortable. And he admits during his promos that I, this, like I, I, I've always just go and gone in and done my matches. I've, I've, I've talked in the ring, which is true. And he's great in the ring. He's fantastic. But he seems very, very uncomfortable doing whatever he's doing out there. I don't know if he's not feeling the character, or it could be that that's how he is in real life, but he is very nervous having to be out there and being a main event promo. And quite frankly, if he's going to do it, he needs to he needs to practice. He needs to learn on the job at this point. So I will give it time, but so far, he seems very not comfortable, which is not what you want to come across as, as a main star on what is now a show on USA Network with almost a million viewers. Well, to be fair to him, he's still kind of walking weird down to the ring. He's just now doing it in a jeans jacket with a wacky T-shirt on. And that's my big problem with this. That's what stuck out to me. The promo, he was timid doing that. But like you mentioned, is he really cool, Kyle, or not? We'll have to see about that. Plus... You know, without having, it's easy to cut a promo on your mortal enemy that you've been feuding and teaming with for years, as he has with Adam Cole. Now, away from Adam Cole, can you remain, you know, have that intensity? Can you get over how invested you are into this and how this is everything? We'll have to see with Kyle, but I'm sorry. With the outfit that he's got on, that may be him, and there's no rule that says he can't wear a jacket and sunglasses, but adding a hat to it? I'm sorry. The first thought in everybody's mind, and it was in everybody's mind last night, was Orange Cassidy. Is this is this Cantaloupe Cassidy? Is this Carrot Cassidy? Is this Squash Cassidy? Yam Cassidy? Ginger Cassidy? What is Kyle O'Reilly? Uh, I don't want to interrupt, and I don't want to be a, 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 a contrarian, Mike, but not for one second last night did I see cool Kyle and think Orange Cassidy. Well, I got to be honest. I, you were in the minority then. And I'm well, not that's saying fine. That, I'm not saying that when he walked out, you know, and, and by the time he was done that promo, he was not Kyle O'Reilly. And I don't mean to slight or insult him. I have a, a problem in I'm slighting and insulting every part of that presentation as far as letting him go out there because, to me, it draws too much of a direct comparison to the look of Orange Cassidy where you're trying to make Kyle O'Reilly different. Yes, he's much different than he was, but does he stand out as a character? I, I don't think that he does, and I didn't get that impression that he was elevated up, whereas I get that feeling from, like, a, a Phantasmo, and, and there's a couple other people. Like, I just... I just wasn't feeling it with Kyle O'Reilly. I'm not feeling it with this yet as far as the presentation of this character, but we'll have to see. Back in a moment with 
your calls, everybody. Hey, Wrestling Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.